What's up guys, welcome back to my video. Today is March 8th, 2020. Right now I'm actually editing the video as you can see right now um, from yesterday. But we're actually about to head out and fish um, pretty early. It's basically 5.30, but it says 6.30. So I've been up since about five. Gonna head out with my dad now up north. I'm um, looking for some striper's perch, but primarily winter flounder first. Yeah, we're gonna make like an hour and a half hike up north. Try to get some winter flounder. If that doesn't work out, then we have perch or stripers, but should be looking good for all three species today. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. 6 30 now. We'll Begin the car around five minutes, and then we'll uh, be on the way. Hopefully, it's a good day. Peace. as you can see and um we got some bloodworms and clams so next time we see you guys we'll be on the gopro and we'll uh be making some casts looking for some winter flounder the guy in the shop said they have been catching some um one guy even got a 19 inch or so that's pretty good um pretty inspiring so we'll see what happens all right well guys um the last spot was kind of a bust. There was like 1,800 people fishing there in like a 30 foot radius. So decided to dip from that spot. Um, as we're leaving, a guy caught like a little winter flounder. So kind of bummed about that, but we're heading to the Tom, the Tom's River now. Um, and hoping there's some uh, winter flounder there, but also some stripers, perch, and obviously winter flounder. So those are our three targets. First spot, like I said, was a bust. So hoping to go to the second spot now and uh, get some better results around 9.30. Probably fish there a few hours, see what we can do. I'm um, feeling pretty confident, so. Yeah, I guess we'll see you guys on the GoPro at the spot. All right, well guys, just got to the other spot. Um, it's around 10 o'clock now. Just got all four rods out set up, bloodworms and clams. So hoping for winter flounder, perch, stripers, like I said. Um, yeah, feeling pretty confident. Not sure what's gonna happen. I'll be happy with anything, basically, as long as I catch a fish or, or two. <laughs> I'll be happy with that since it is still winter. But um, yeah, feeling pretty optimistic. Rods are out, now we just sit back and wait. Got him. Pretty sure we got a perch on right now. Bang. Set the hook on him at least. I don't know if he's still on there. Finally, first fish in an hour. Just about to call it quits and this guy decided to show up. Hopefully he's still on here. On the blow worm, way out there. Oh yeah, he's on for sure. First perch of the day, baby. First fish of the day, actually. About freaking time. What? A plastic bag I snagged on the way in. Oh, I had a fish though. Well, <laughs> there goes that fish. All right. Way out there. Probably had a bite at least. Probably switch up my other rods from winter flounder rigs to more perch rigs. And we'll see what we can do. Maybe do something better with that. Switch things up. That was definitely a fish. That's the fourth bite, actually. That was a pretty solid one. I felt like. So. That's a bite. Same rod as last time. What's the fish? Got him, got him. Ah, oh, it's like the drag. <laughs> Hopefully he's on this time. Yeah, he's on. Finally got a stupid little perch. Finally. Feeling pretty good, actually. This might be a good one. Actually, you know what? I guess it's probably a little striper. For sure. Oh, I'm on top. I'm over that one. Just go under me. Go under me. 
Sorry, please. Finally, guys, first fish. Took us an hour and a half to get this little tiny striper. Maybe it's a big perch, I don't know. I guess it's definitely a little striper though. For sure. Come on in, Mr. Striper. There we go. Dope. First fish of the day, guys. Let me get a quick picture of him while we have him right here. There we go, guys. First fish of the day. Little striper. Took us long enough, but there we go. Put me inhaled that blood worm. Little, uh, probably 17 inch or 16 inch. Not sure how big, but finally, nice to catch a fish. All right, see you, dude. There he goes, swimming off. All right, guys, first fish. Took long enough. <laughs> Finally caught something though, so we'll cast back out and see what we can do. Woo. <laughs> you want it? You want it? Yeah. All right. I'll let my dad get down. That's a striper for sure. That's a good one too. Tighten the drag. Tighten the drag. Tighten the drag. Tighten the drag. Tighten it, tighten it. There you go. That's a striper for sure, baby. Just put up a whole blood worm, guys. There we go. That's definitely bigger than the one I had. That thing started ripping drag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. That's sick. Right there, guys. Just put on fresh blood worm. Epic. Literally, I was like, all right, we're about to leave. Might as well put a fresh blood worm on. And there we go. <laughs> awesome. Definitely a nice size striper. Bring the one I caught for sure. The one I have felt like a little perch. Dope, dope. There you go. That's a good one. Probably not a keeper, but still, still fun. Oh, yeah, look at that. Little striper. That's a, that's a nice size one. There we go, guys. Awesome. Bigger than the one I got. You got hold of the camera. Look at that. Awesome. Probably 22 inches right there. Nice job, Dad. All right, letting him go. See you, little bud. Hailed that blood one. There you go. It's kicking off strong. Nice job. Dope. Yes, awesome, guys. We're probably going to cast back out now. That, that did not take too long from when I baited up. Like I said, I put some fresh blood worms on there, cast it out. We have about a whole blood worm and a half left, so I'm going to do the same thing with the other rod. Oh, yeah. They're definitely out there. The key is just casting out really far, especially with this flood tide that we just had with the full moon. So, messed up the patterns a little bit. They seem to be out real deep. So, going to try to do that again, cast out really far one more time. And uh, give one last send, see if we can't catch any more. Stoked. So right now the score is, I got one striper. My dad's got one striper. His way bigger than mine. But um, yeah, good day, good day. Yeah, guys, right here is all we're using, just a high-low rig. Got a little blood worm down here. A little makeshift three-ounce weight. And another one right there, casting it out. This is eight-pound braid. The other one has 20. This is a seven-foot rod. The other one has eight for rods. That's why that one's been getting more of the hits. Just cause it goes out farther, but this not complaining still goes pretty far. Let's cast this out real quick. Yeah, still goes out probably 40 yards or so. The other one might go out 60. I don't know. That's a pretty rough guesstimate, but let's just hope we get some more fish. I'll be happy with a the perch. These are our last casts each because we're out of blood worms now, so guy right here and then we'll uh cross our fingers and hope we catch some more those guys down there are not not out far enough and obviously haven't seen any fish from them but um yeah i'll cut this rod out i'm gonna be hanging in and see what we can do Come on. that's a bite it's a baby perch but it's a bite Baby perch. Oh, 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 there's a fish. That's 
striper, dude. Just pick it up. Literally had a perch bite, guys, and I pick up the rod and I get a striper. <laughs> Look at that, that's crazy. Feels pretty good. I already tightened down the drag because I was waiting for like a little perch to hit it. Right here. Feels pretty small, but I'm kind of surprised I felt a perch bite. So I pick it up, waiting for a perch to take it, and I have this little stripe guy there. What's that? Little bass. Oh, popped right off. <laughs> Just lost him, guys, right by the bank. As I was getting by the dock. There he goes. I don't think I even got him. You might have got him in the water, but he's going to block it. All right, we'll cast back out and maybe we'll get another one. Alright guys, looking like that's going to be the wrap for the video. Pretty solid fishing session today. Um, took us a while to find some fish. Went winter flounder fishing earlier, so obviously as I thought this morning we was going to be more of a winter flounder day, ended up being more of a striped bass day. So yeah, definitely kind of fun day. Um, caught three stripers, had a total of like eight bites, nine bites. Um, I actually only landed two stripers, the one you guys saw I dropped. <laughs> um, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be calling it now. It's around one o'clock. Gonna be heading home. Got like an hour and a half drive. Got a few things to do. So, we we'll packing up, calling it a day. And um, yeah, this weekend's been pretty good. Finally ended my skunk um, streak of like almost a month, I guess. So, yesterday got some stripers and some perch. Today, mostly just stripers. Have some perch bites. We missed those. And um, yeah, that's all for this week, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, see you next week. Got a few more things planned revolving around stripers and winter flounder and white perch. So I'm um, stoked for that. And I'll uh, see you guys next week. Peace.